Looking like a woman from Paris, effortless yet incredibly elegant is one of those makeup trends that never seem to go away. The key point seems to be shiny hair, red lips and a Breton striped shirt and despite the red lips, no drama in your makeup and the whole vibe is called French girl makeup. Well, Queen Muja is one of the brands that seem to cater into these looks with their vibrant cream matte lipsticks and their, in my opinion, very natural looking 2053 mascara with lash growth extract. After all the website reads, our products perfectly combine Californian creative energy with Parisian elegance and sophistication. Now, I am definitely not French, but partial to a red lip, so let's take a closer look at the product and see if they live up to their claims. Lipsticks first. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. According to the brand, the lipsticks are comfortable to wear, lightweight, and long lasting. They also have a bunch of clean beauty claims on their website, probably the Californian influence they mentioned. Let me first direct your attention to the packaging, which is quite unique in shamed and closes tightly, especially important for those that tend to throw their lipsticks into whatever bag they carry that day. The rubbery surface is lovely to the touch, but I have to admit as someone that worked in emergency medicine for a few years, I really do hope people don't get weird ideas, it is quite pointy at the end. The lipstick comes in six different shades, each named with a reference to art. At least that is what I think, as there is one reference I don't really get. The shades are Ada, described as antique Tuscan terracotta, very important in architecture there. Becky Sharp, described as a royal damson gem, I assume is named after the main character in the novel Vanity Fair about the cynical social clam making her way up by seducing men. Dorian, described as a rosy Georgian brick, named after Dorian Gray, I suppose. Madame Bovary, described as the Gauguin Pink, again the famous character from literature. Montreux, described as Swiss balcony geranium, again an architectural reference, I assume, and lastly one I don't get. Molly Bloom, described as carrot fairy cake. If anyone could help me out with the culture reference here, it would be much appreciated. Things like that tend to nab me forever. All colors are pictured on the website on women in different coloring, which I found extremely helpful in picking a shade that would most likely suit me. I own Ada and Montreux, which don't look exactly like they look at the pictures, but the descriptions are quite accurate. Ada is my favorite out of the two. I'm wearing it today. I found that Montreux leaves a tad orange on me. I can pull that off in summer and when wearing bronzer, but Ara is much more my comfort zone. So how do they perform? They are indeed very comfortable to apply lightweight and while being matte never look flat. I could also wear them all day without experiencing drier lips than I usually do. Quite a few matte lipsticks turn my lips into a flake flesh within hours and while these are certainly not hydrating, they aren't drying either. Should you be around the same age as me, you will be pleased to hear that even without lip liner, these don't settle into the lines around your mouth. <laughs> one of the things that make wearing a red more of a struggle than it used to be. If I have one complaint, it is the wear time. I didn't expect them to last through a meal, but even with just ringing, they would start to fade around the middle of the lips after 2.5 hours, which for me doesn't qualify as long wearing. After four hours or after eating, they'd be mostly gone. Now, if they are worth the price, it's something you need to decide yourself. The formula isn't that outstanding that I would rush everyone to buy it, but if, like me, you appreciate the uniqueness and the cultural references, things like that make me smile when I put on my makeup, I'd say they are worth getting. Moving on to the mascara. After all, the essence of French girl makeup, according to blogs, is to enhance only one part of your face and leave the rest as natural as possible. So either your lips with bright color and then mascara only, or a bold black liner with nude lips. So with a bold lip already taken care of, how does the 2053 mascara with lash growth extract work on my average long straight lashes? The claims are intriguing, mentioning astronomical length and volume. Again, the packaging is different to others on the market, but speaks to me with its graphic structure and the color. It's also quite heavy. The brush is to my liking as well, thick, rounded and with bristles. Sadly though, the effect on my lashes was quite different from what they claimed, astronomical length and volume. My lashes looked a little longer due to the blonde tips being tinted, but overall it was one of the most natural looking mascaras I have tried in a long time. Yes, the lashes are separated and the color is visible, but for my personal taste, way too little drama. 
As for the lash growth extract, apparently made from plankton harvested from the Adriatic Sea, claiming to give you denser, longer lashes after just 42 days, I didn't notice an effect, but was so underwhelmed by how the mascara looked that I didn't wear it consistently enough to be able to judge that fairly. It isn't designed to be waterproof and was removed easily, and I am pleased to say that I didn't notice crumbling or flaking when the day went on. Still, it isn't a mascara I would repurchase. I am all about the drama on my lashes. If you are into a more natural look though, maybe to go with your bold lip, it might be just the one for you. Now tell me. Which of the products speaks to you and do you like the French girl aesthetic? I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram and blog in the description box. And if you want exclusive Q&As, behind the scenes content or just get more involved, become a channel member. I would love to have you join the community. See you soon. Bye.